Well, back to school time can be exciting with getting new backpacks, notebooks, clothes. It can also be a little terrifying for kids anxious about going to a new school or starting a new grade. Here with advice on how to help them overcome those fears is school counselor Baron Whited. So this really is such a fun time for yes. kids to go back to school, but like we just mentioned, it can also be a little worrisome as yes. you're starting to. So what, what kind of advice do you have for kids? You know, it's really interesting because kids are excited excited about going back to school, but if they are starting a new school, maybe they moved from out of town or they mm -hmm. moved school districts, they're very nervous and they feel overwhelmed about what to expect when they first walk in that first day. So right. I think it comes with some advice to help them out. I think too, this isn't just for young kids because you know the young kids when they first start maybe they're going into first grade or kindergarten they may be anxious but i also remember that transition going from junior high into high yes. school with the big dogs yes you know and you're <laughs> a little worried about how you're going to fit into the social atmosphere of school yeah it is because they don't know what to expect that unknown right. for any of us is very scary but there are things that they can do to help them transition to the new school or new grade so one of the suggestions that you have is make kids part of the process. Yes, so have that ongoing communication, that open dialogue that they understand that you are there for, their, for them 24 hours a day. So ask them, what are they most concerned about? What questions that they have? What are some of the, their excitement about starting a new school? Even sitting down and going over the school district's website, they can get an idea of what to expect. Checking out those social media sites, mm -hmm. find out what types of activities they have for the upcoming year. Is there a way for parents to phrase that to kids, you know, without using the word worry or concerns? I mean, I don't know if by saying those words, if you're planting that in their mind, that they have a reason to be worried or concerned. So is there a, a way to, for parents to better question their kids about those? Well, I think that if you allow them to know that this is a normal, process right. and that there are going to be other students that may be you know a little bit anxious and that's okay but if you keep that open dialogue I think that can kind of help them mm -hmm. to you know you, there are certain words that you don't want to use but I do think if you just allow them to know that you are there for them it can be very that's going to help um, attend open houses if available yes so a lot of school districts will have um, open houses or back to school events this can really help them to get familiar with the new building mm -hmm. but also take a tour of their classroom to see how the setup is and they also can meet some of their teachers as well as new friends it's been my experience some of these students they come in they meet some new friends and then they're lifelong friends right and it helps them that first day they recognize faces like oh I remember that's you right attend, yeah you know, open house and that will certainly help and encourage participation in extracurricular activities yes <laughs> this, this is, is very important oh, well I think this is important on so many different levels yes. but it, it definitely starts for especially the older kids, it starts you off on that social level where you have friends and you have people to look to. Yes, exactly, especially during the high school years right. because if they are a college-bound student, colleges want to see that they did more than just go to school, come home and do their homework. They want to see that they're involved. Right. Even volunteering in their community during that high school years can be very helpful. It's a good resume builder and it's good networking. Okay, and you also say to prepare for the first day, and this probably goes beyond taking the shopping trips to buy new clothes. Right, exactly. So definitely be organized. Have your homework station all set up that it's distraction free, but also, you know, take them with you to go get the school supplies because mm -hmm. that teaches them money management, but it also teaches them a life skill that they're going to use for, you know, forever and ever. And then also, make sure you know how they're going to get there the bus schedules because it's going to be a new route so make sure you know what time the bus driver is going to pick you up but if they're walking make sure that you know the safest as way as well as the fastest way to get there and so without um you know understating how they're feeling you also want to keep a positive attitude through this process yes absolutely positive thing is the best key you want to teach them Things may not always go as planned, and that's okay. Turning that negative into a positive can be so helpful. So a test may not go as planned, that's okay. There are other tests. Do we need to help you get peer tutoring? Do you need to attend right. office hours? Visualize success can be such a key. 
down. These are my short-term, long-term goals. I want to get that A. And if they can see that, it can go a long way. I think all of your tips here, the one main message that I'm seeing is that if you help to teach your kids to be prepared before something that starts that's going to give them anxiety, that yeah. it kind of lessens all of that. Too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's the best to be prepared for yeah. that first day. Right. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much, Baron, thank for being you. here. Baron Whited, professional school counselor and mission specialist, bullying prevention specialist as well. You can look there as well. You can look to the link at kdka.com slash PTL.